60 seconds, ladies. All you got. Ready. Project 19 is more than just a vertical world record. The 19th Amendment granted women the right to vote in the USA. And the original idea of Project 19 was to celebrate the centennial of that event 100 years later by doing a 100-way vertical world record with just women. It is a mission to inspire women and girls to lead bold, brave lives of their own design. The women are an unbelievable group of people. There are some professional skydivers, some weekend skydivers. There's someone who's a rocket scientist, a doctor, but they're all people that have put a huge amount of focus into skydiving in their lives to become at a super high level. got all of the female leaders in their skydiving community together and we asked them to help us. Sort of empowered them and said like, hey, you go out and start training people. This happened in the suffrage movement. Women from around the world had to come together. And that's how we started building this big team. Now, now we know we're ready. We decided to go into Friday morning with a group of 72 women, which is a very symbolic number. Boom, we nailed it. We nailed it on the first jump. Yes! We just built the first record of the day. So we went up to do an 80-way. And we nailed it again. So we got two skydiving world records in a row. More friends, yeah, more friends. friends. The goal the goal is the 100 way, that's the number we want. All of the 100 way attempts on the last day have been just amazing. We so can do it! Yeah! <laughs> on each jump, you got the feeling like, oh my god, maybe we made it, you know? It was challenging to ask each person to continue to perform perfect on every single jump. We're, We're running, running out of daylight. We right, right now, if we, we get, get up there, there we, we have, have enough for two more, more jumps. jumps. So we decided to go up and do a 97 way. Big, really ladies. my parachute, I felt like we made it. I could see the cameraman, they were cheering, so I just thought, wow, wow, we did it. Well, I'm good, no? it looked pretty good from my angle. Everyone's cheering, so I think it looked pretty good from all angles. We got down and we realized it was just off by this small, small moment. We built 96 out of 97, and it was so close, and at the same time, during the descent, one of the really most important key flyers blew an eardrum and she was bleeding out of her ear. You gotta try, right? You gotta keep trying until the end. So regardless of what we were facing, we kept going for it. We went up for that last attempt. We were asking people to now shift into totally different sections. It was a very, very challenging situation. That wasn't a very good jump. 
then it, it was over at that point. That was our last attempt. And you would think that the energy would be down and the vibe would be down, but it wasn't. Everybody landed and the energy was up and the appreciation was up and there was a sense of accomplishment and a, a huge sense of satisfaction in all the hard work we've done and the teamwork. What everyone really felt is hungry. Hungry for the future. We still want that hundred way. We're still looking towards the future. Just like the women's suffrage movement, they've come such a long way, but there's still more to go for women's rights, and we have to keep pushing in that direction. We officially broke two skydiving world records. We unofficially broke that record. We didn't just show the world that we could do it. We showed the world how to do it.